Now, to be a part of the program, send your comments online using the hashtag PollStream and also tweet all our social media handles showing on your screen. That's at Channel TV at Olua Mayawa and at Victor MBIDI. Of course, welcome again. I'm Victor Mathias. And I'm Iowa, Ugundili. Well, let's start by checking reactions to a question we asked earlier on on the verdicts. We asked you, our viewers, to share your 2015 voting experiences and also tell us what ways you are expecting things to change this time around. And here's what some of you sent in in video format as well as text format. Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Olamide Akejaya. First time voter here, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, I had a prior experience, of course, like I said, um, but I remember peeping from the balcony in Lagos in 2015 at the time because the polling unit was right in front of where I was staying at. And I remember it was seamless from looking up your name on the list to accreditation to actually queuing up to vote and of course voting and then you know having the, the vote, vote counts. So I'm looking forward to this. I'll be voting in Abuja this year and the environment has been calm, the environment has been peaceful. It's been a tad serene, you know. So I'm hoping that that spirit, you know, will be carried on into the election proper. And I'm looking forward to this. I know that in my first time I will not be disappointed. I'm eager, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm as a matter of fact, I already voted. So I know it'll be peaceful. I suppose there were some people are envisaging um that it, there'll be some sort of ruckus of violence. I do not think so, or rather I do not pray for that to happen. So Please go out and vote. Do not be afraid. It'll be peaceful. As a good citizen of Nigeria, that's my promise to you. So, vote with your rights, your civil duty, do your thing. Hi, my name is um, Osama Gyosamide. And um, my voting experience for 2015 hmm, was a bittersweet experience, I must say. Um, I remember coming in early in the morning to vote, cast my vote, and we found out that we were going to register and come back later on to vote so uh registration well which many people call accreditation um well we we did come hours after to to cast our vote because definitely it was what uh the wait um for 2019 i i pray um yeah i do pray that people come out to vote on uh their own choice and make their vote count and um, no election violence and you know nigeria uh get the leaders that would lead us all right in now for messages you sent via text we have andrew osewe on facebook saying unnecessary harassment by security forces should be looked into Andrew Austin says sharing of material, money within polling units, also casting of votes for visually impaired and, vis and physically challenged people are those areas that need amendment, and that is my worst experience. Of course, his worst experience. Now for Twitter, we have Umfon Anthony One saying, the election will be peaceful come Saturday. Everyone is ready to vote for the candidate of their choice. Good luck, Nigeria. And of course, hashtag PollStream. For Kisom Umiobi. He or she says voting in 2015 was not so stressful, but I think there may be a lot of invalid votes because of the amount of political parties on the ballot. Hopefully, no violence. And of course, um, he tweets that at Channels TV with the hashtag PollStream as well as the verdict. Well, social media since inception has been a part of elections and this time won't be an exception. However, just like a coin, this phenomenon has two sides, the good and the bad. This edition of PollStream, of course, a bridged one, will focus on the role social media users and platforms will be playing during the elections. Also with issues of data harvesting and allegations of intervention by Russia in the U.S. elections, key players are concerned and are looking for a way to ensure it doesn't happen here. Indeed. But uh, we earlier announced um, an expansion and an improved way of interaction uh, from what was from the last election season, and we can't wait to show you all of that. Maywa? Actually, the wait is over. Great. And that is why we're about to unveil our latest technology here at Channels TV. Joining us from our Abuja studio is our correspondent, Terry Kumi. Hello, Terry. Can you hear us? Oh, yes, clearly. Awesome. I can hear you very clearly. Wow. And this is exciting. You can hear us, right? Oh, my. This is very amazing. <laughs> 
Victor. Yes. I can hear you clearly, and it feels so good to sort of be in the studio with you, all the way from Abuja. Uh, I, I, I can imagine. I almost stretched my, my, my arm for a, for, for a handshake, Terry. That's how excited I am. I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But actually, you are here. <laughs> you know, it's quite amazing. That's what technology can do. So but let's just look quickly. I mean, uh, what's the social media uh, scene like at the moment? as the election comes? Well, um, first of all, let's say in clear terms that anyone who denies how important social media is is just being uh, on, insincere to himself. Now, social media plays a huge role. Unverified statistics say about 93 uh, million Nigerians are on social media. Anyone who ignores that is not being sincere. Now, if you look at uh, the build-up to the elections, you realize that most of the information were disseminated through social media. And you all rightly said that there's a possibility of uh, uh, good and bad news being uh, circulated on social media. But let's take nothing from the fact that political parties, the candidates, INEC, took the opportunity of social media to disseminate information. Now, if 93 million people, as I said on verified data, are on social media, imagine how much uh, impact that will have on the elections. But then let's take the negative part of social media and question if um, uh, what had happened in the past where people use social media for, for, for uh, negative reasons, disseminating false information about what's happening at certain polling units when that's not the case. And you will agree with me that that's the fastest way to spread information. Uh, that's after uh, Channel Steve expressed the correct one, of course. <laughs> Indeed. I know, I know, I know, Terry. I know. But um, I mean, I, I, I'm really excited again about this whole thing and it really feels good like i said earlier on i almost stretched my arm for a handshake with you terry but i mean i'm sure we're going to be having you more a lot more, and more as the program goes all right terry thank you so much for joining us in lagos thank you in so lagos much. emphasis on in lagos <laughs>